Hello again, good to have you back. Of course, if you're tuning in for the first time, I am the Articulate Grunt. Welcome to my channel. Private Man. Most everybody's familiar with him. He was a Army military intelligence analyst who leaked a plethora of military and government secret and secure documents to WikiLeaks. Many call him a traitor, some call him a whistleblower. Either way, he was convicted doing 35 years. Now, as soon as he was convicted, he came out that he was transgender. He was a woman trapped in a man's body. He was confused, and that got him a lot of sympathy from other arenas as well. I'm going to avoid all that because he's back in the news again, and I just want to make it a little smarter, something to think about. Now, his lawyer is saying that because the military does not provide for gender reassignment, that they are violating his civil liberties by refusing to transfer him to a federal penitentiary, to a civilian prison. And that's being looked at as an option. However, I think what they're doing is going for a loophole. You see, under the Uniform Code of Military Justice, under federal law, a military conviction is supposed to be carried out in a military prison. Not a federal prison, not a civilian prison, not a private civilian prison, a military penal facility. So, to get him transferred to against the regulations, would have to basically take Act of Congress, Act of the President, something along that lines, or Manning being discharged from service. Thing is, if discharged from service, technically your conviction is served and your file is closed. Therefore, they would have to either release Manning to turn him over to prison system, or his entire file, everything, the entire case, would have to be reevaluated and possibly even retried in a civilian court, which, oh wait, doesn't have jurisdiction on treason. So I think what his lawyer is doing is going for a loophole. By claiming that his civil liberties are being violated, he's trying to force the military to either release him from custody or get him retried in the civilian courts, which don't have jurisdiction over some of his criminal offenses. Thus, possibly just straight up setting Manning free, or at least out on bond waiting the retrial and spending years going through the whole process all over again. I think that's their plan. That's their loophole. And if this works, you can expect to see a flood of convicted military prisoners claiming to be transgender and that their civil liberties are being infringed on. This will become a new out. So, having brought you up to speed, something for you to think about, something to bounce around in your synapse, nice little snack. Give me your thoughts and comments down below, hit the like or dislike, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe. It takes a second. I will catch you later. I am the Articulate Grunt. Out for now. Bye.